As much as I love Clara, the real queen of the West is Jessie Yodelay. Hey, who? Who agrees? Back to the Future Part 3. Yay ha! Directed once again by Robert Zemeckis, director of uh, the first two, and is the third and final installment in the Back to the Future trilogy, five years in the making. So part three tells the story taking place after the events of part two, where Marty uh, McFly is uh, forced to go on one uh, third and final adventure, but this time back uh, uh, further than he's ever gone before to the days of the West where Dr. Emmett Brown has uh, found uh, the love of his life in uh, the beautiful uh, Queen of the West and school teacher Clara. Marty uh, uh, makes uh, it uh, his uh, goal to get uh, Dr. Emmett Brown back uh, to present day uh, before uh, history changes. Uh, now uh, we have uh, come to this. Uh, I'm going to get my opinion rise out there. Uh, part 3 is my uh, favourite of the Back to the Future sequels and my second favourite of the Back to the Future trilogy overall. Uh, oh, of course it's not quite uh, as unmissable as uh, the original, but uh, but it's uh, the one uh, that uh, comes uh, the closest uh, to uh, the magic of, of the original. It's it's certainly a, a, a big step up uh, from uh, part two, uh, and uh, and this uh, uh, could uh, uh, and this uh, does uh, conclude. Uh, the, the, the Back to the Future trilogy on a slightly imperfect uh, but, uh, uh, but, but barnstorming uh, note. Uh, this is still a rollicking blast of a uh, conclusion and one of the rare third chapters in a trilogy that isn't the worst. Uh, I, I just uh, uh, adore the uh, Western uh, setting of this movie and and this is by far the most original uh, of uh, the sequels, as uh, it's uh, as it's not uh, uh, trying to uh, re replicate uh, the the first one so much, uh, like uh, part two, and and the and the, the western setting is is an outrageously a uh, fun concept, uh, and I'm all for a sitting through a western like uh, 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 like. Uh, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, or or Rango, uh, and uh, and a, a town called Mercy may be the most underrated Matt Smith story in Doctor Who since series seven. That is how you do a uh, western for TV, and uh, and uh, this this uh, movie uh, will also make you want to play uh, both Red Dead Redemption games again when when you watch it. It is it is the most uh, light-hearted and uh, funnest uh, western that I have ever seen, period, uh, which which uh, is uh, a breath of fresh air in the western genre because because it, it proves that westerns don't need to be uh, gritty uh, co constantly and, uh, and and I I love that uh, this movie changes the focus of the protagonist, you know, Marcy's storyline was uh, concluded in uh, part two so so um, Dr. Emmett Brown finally gets her to be uh, in the uh, spotlight and uh, this this and he, he, this is really uh, his movie and uh, far and away Christopher Lloyd's uh, greatest performance in in the trilogy uh, finally he gets a, a deeper storyline is not just uh, reduced to you know the uh, the uh, uh, comedic sidekick for for Marcy and 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 uh, his uh, uh, blossoming romance uh, with, with Clara uh, is uh, is just uh, utterly adorable uh, and uh, as for Clara herself uh, she is uh, 
But as for Clara herself, she's easily my uh, favourite of the Back to the Future female characters. Finally, a uh, a female character in these movies that is uh, fully involved with the narrative, and she's the only. Uh, female character of the trilogy to uh, feature in the poster alongside uh, Marcy and uh, Emmett uh, and uh, and uh, it, and it's a bittersweet uh, uh, conclusion uh, to uh, uh, to uh, her and Dr. Emmett's uh, story when when Dr. Emmett stays in 1885 and uh, and him and uh, and Clara have two sons are together. I mean, it may not be the ending that so uh, that uh, uh, that you predicted, nor is it quite the ending that uh, that Marcy uh, envisioned. Yet it's still a happy ending because if uh, Clara and uh, Doctor Emmett are happy, then we're happy. And uh, and and Marcy uh, himself, uh, uh, he uh, is. Uh, he may not uh, he may not be uh the uh the central protagonist this time but uh, he's uh, the one you know doing all of the the saving <laughs> and uh, and he's a man on a mission in this movie uh and and to see him you know trying to uh blend in uh, to the west uh, like a, a chameleon are 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 where some of the uh, best moments of comedy come from and and the scene where he travels to the west end of the indians are running t towards him and he's uh doing his best to drive away and, and avoid them uh, that that so uh, uh was uh, a uh, uh exhilarating uh way uh to uh to, to just throw you into uh the west uh, and in fact uh the action scenes of this movie uh, are are so uh, 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 heart racing. They are like a roller coaster ride, especially the epic uh, train uh, finale, uh, which which is one of the uh, most exciting train scenes in film up there with Spider Man Two, and and the effects of uh, uh, for that train scene for 1990 uh, 31 years ago i mean i mean they uh they they uh stand the test of time uh, even more so than than some effects uh, today in 2021 uh i mean cgi uh is uh, not good uh, for everything hollywood and uh, robert zemeckis uh, shows that uh, and the ending did make me at least a shed ones here. It's it it doesn't reach the emotional heights of How's a Train Your Dragon Three or Return of the King as far as conclusions to trilogies go. But so, uh, but but it was a uh, still a uh, gut wrenching to feel. Oh God, we're we're never going to see Marcy or Doctor Emmett Brown in in a movie again. That this is it, and uh, it's like you know when they. When they uh, just uh, 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 close their their time machine and and the end credits come on, you're like, uh, uh, I salute you, Robert Zemeckis. So you you uh, did a good wrapping up uh, your Labour of Love trilogy. Though, if I did have to criticise a uh, one factor of this movie is that they did not need to bring back Biff again uh, to. Uh, continue his uh, rivalry with, with Marcy. I mean, that was the only part of that was uh, trying uh, too hard or too cool back to the first movie. Uh, but overall, a uh, part three is nearly as awesome as the original, and uh, uh, and I am uh, uh, shocked uh, to learn that it, this is the lowest grossing of uh, the trilogy. I think uh, uh, audiences were. Uh, excitement for Back to the Future at that point was kind of dwindling. That was their message to Robert Zemeckis. It's time to stop at three, Mr. Zemeckis. Uh, but so, uh, but uh, he, uh, but he uh, stopped uh, this uh, franchise uh, at uh, exactly the right time. Five years and uh, three uh, 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 hugely uh, entertaining movies. Uh, I give Back to the Future part three. Four stars out of 
five. Great movie. We have done it, folks. Another movie trilogy done. And, uh, yeah, this uh, really uh, was uh, one of the earliest uh, uh, classic uh, movie trilogies uh, that uh, shapes uh, the landscape of cinema. I mean, first we had Star Wars, uh, then Indiana Jones, and uh, and, and then uh, back, back to the Future. So, uh, yeah, this uh, is uh, 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 one of the few trilogies where all three are uh, at least good. And this trilogy is the true staple of uh, Robert Zemeckis' uh, career as a, a filmmaker. Without this trilogy, I I don't think he would be quite as celebrated a filmmaker as he is today. So thank you so much, uh, uh, Movies and Rankings by Reese for the awesome request. It was a pleasure to review uh, this uh, rollicking trilogy. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And what are your thoughts on Back to the Future Part 3? And how would you rank the trilogy from your favourite to least favourite? Please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll see you all next time when I'll try and review the first Independence Day for uh, this July 4th for its 25th anniversary. And remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.